Um, I'm going to do a quick demo of some of the EC2 Amazon network performance measurements that I've been doing to kind of demystify the, the possibilities and limitations uh, that are possible on, uh, on Amazon. And I'll post this on my website, tunk.io, so uh, take a look at that. I'll make sure I put the uh, link in this uh, YouTube video. So let's get started. Okay, so I just spun up two uh, brand new Amazon uh, instances uh, of type C5N18 extra large, which are the largest of the uh, VMs possible for the C5N, which are the um, uh, network optimized instances. So I have two of these. These are stock Ubuntu images that I just spun up uh, just a minute ago or so. So um, let's take a look at these machines and see, um, see what they're capable of. Okay, so I have two of them. One is what you see here on the left, one on the right. So two windows per machine. Uh, on the top, I'll be typing. And at the bottom, you can see each of the machines, uh, the number of packets per second that this machine's processing and the bits per second. And we'll take a look at that in a little bit. But let's take a quick look at this, uh, this big machine because it is a big machine. Um, let's take a look at, uh, if we poke around a little bit, and see it has uh, 72 cores. Um, which um, we can see here as well, Intel Xeon uh, 3 gigahertz machine, like I said, 72 cores. Um, it has um, two sockets, 18 cores per socket, and then uh, two threads uh, per, per core. Um, so yeah, pretty big machine. All right, so that's it uh, about the, uh, the CPU power on the machine. The other one is exactly the same. Um, I'm going to take a quick look at the network interface that we have. Uh, we only have one network interface, uh, ENS5, uh, that we'll be working with. It's just a standard ENI or ENA adapter, uh, which is the uh, enhanced network adapter in, uh, in Amazon. And what's important here is that uh, we're taking a look at the number of TX and RX queues. Uh, and if you want to know exactly what that means, take a look at our blog. But basically, the number of queues uh, on a NIC uh, network interface card is quite important for the performance. So the number of queues is kind of similar as the number of lanes on a highway. The more lanes, the more cars can go over the highway. So the more queues, the more parallel flows can go over this NIC. And then finally, let's take a, take a look at, these, um, at the MTU on this machine, which is interesting too. So again, this is all default. Uh, so you can see the MTU is set to 9001. So jumbo frames, right? So jumbo frames are defined as everything larger than 1500 bytes, really. There's no real upper boundary, uh, but uh, typically what you see on the standard network gear is that it's uh, somewhere between 8,000 and 9,000 bytes. I think it's kind of cute that Amazon went uh, went over by one and, and set it to 9,001. And uh, using these jumbo frames, we should be able to do uh, quite a bit of performance. So take a look at, uh, uh, at that. Enough talking, let's start generating some traffic. Okay, so we're, I'm gonna use iPerf. Uh, to generate traffic. Um, and I've already started, uh, in this case, 70, 70 uh, iPerf processes uh, from uh, ranging from port 5001 to 5070. Uh, and so this is the server side. Um, so let's start a process. Um, and so I have a few here. So let's start one um, iPerf on uh, port 5001 and let's see what the performance is. So you can already quickly see nine and a half gig, nine and a half gig here, as well as on my uh, bandwidth monitor, I see uh, about 9.6 gigabytes bits per second, right? At uh, about 133,000 packets per second. Um, so that's interesting. So even though it's a 100 gig machine, um, I'm only seeing 10 gigabits per second. Um, although that's still very decent, obviously. Um, this is the first limitation. There is, if you do one flow, you use one queue um, and you, there's a, a maximum limitation of 10 gig per flow. And that's what we're seeing here. So in theory, if we start two flows, um, we might be able to see two times 10 gig using, um, so we should get to 20 gig or so. So let's take a look at that. So I'm now starting two hyper processes, one on 5000, port 5001, the other one on port 5002. Um, and you could see that each of them is still doing nine and a half gig, but in total, then we get to about 19 gigabits per second at about 266,000 packets per second, uh, which, is, um, which is pretty decent, right? Now you'd think that scales up horizontally, um, it doesn't quite work like that, but let's try and see if we can get to the, to the close to the 100 gig. And to do that, I'm gonna start 60 processes 
um, iperf processes. And why so many? Why so many iperf processes? Um, generating that much traffic and is quite CPU intensive. Uh, so I want since I have a lot of CPUs, I'm just starting a lot of processes in parallel, um, and uh, I should be able to get the best results. Okay, so there we go. Uh, with about 60 processes, I'm now processing, uh, yeah, about 94 gigabits per second um, at 1.3 million uh, packets per second, which is uh, which is pretty cool to be honest for an out of the box uh, machine where I haven't done any tuning or anything. Um, you could uh, you can get close to that 100 gig uh, number, which is uh, which is pretty exciting. Keep in mind that uh, there is the 10 gig uh, per flow limitation. These are also two machines in the same what Amazon calls placement zone. Um, but obviously I cheated a little bit here uh, with uh, jumbo frames. And if you look um, into our blog uh, for which I will post a link in a bit, um, we're gonna go through that 100 gig networking, understanding all the limitations. So we'll talk quite a bit about the TX and RX queues, uh, the role of queues, uh, the number of queues, uh, on the different um, instance types. So you can see it goes up to 32 uh, queues. We'll look at the, the, the packet per second rate uh, per queue. Uh, you can see um, how, uh, yeah, it's about 1 million packets per second. If we use two queues, you get to 2 million. Um, and so uh, it's quite interesting and we'll see how that scales up. Uh, as we scale that up, you can see that no matter um, that we start with 1 million, 2 million, and eventually, um, we get to um, about eight and a half million packets uh, per second and, and not much more. Um, and so the same for forwarding performance. Um, so in conclusion, uh, we'll look at, uh, you know, the performance per queue, one million packets per second per queue, roughly 32 queues on the maximum uh, on the largest instances. And, uh, and with that, we get uh, between six and a half to eight and a half million packets per second for, uh, for an instance. Um, so, how does that compare? Like you're talking a lot about packets per second because that's typically the limitation. And then uh, we'll talk about a little bit about, you know, if then it really depends on how many bytes are in the packet. And you could see that uh, when we did our 9,000 byte packets, we only needed about 1.3 million packets per second to get to 100 gig. But if we had 84 bytes in there, then we needed 148 million packets per second, which, uh, which we won't be able to do. So anyways, I hope that uh, that you'll find that interesting. Um, make sure to check out my blog. I'll post it there. And um, yeah, let me know how you find this. Thank you.